in the near future once again. But second and goal here, we're going to actually run it up the middle and get a touchdown with Tyrod Taylor, which if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon for more videos. Peace out, guys. Hey guys, I'm Mike Gamer back here from the video, guys. Welcome back to another online gameplay. As you can see, we got the Beastly Squad. Now, of course, this was gameplay before day one. Now, Madden 18 is released to go to this, and so, you know, I will have a different squad sometime soon for gameplay. But for the next couple games, you're still going to see this same old squad. With that in mind, it was a season we were going through, so that's why it's the same squad for the next couple games. But, and then we'll switch it up and we'll create a brand new squad. You know, mix things up, add new players. You know, definitely show off more than just the beast as he is. You know, I want to try a different quarterback. I want to see if I can do it. You know, I have rookie premier players. I have uh, Ray Lewis in on my new team. So I'm going to try to work out everything like that. So stay tuned for those gameplays, which will be coming in the near future once again. But second and goal here, we're going to actually run it up the middle and get a touchdown with Tyrod Taylor, which if we do get a new quarterback, I will miss that very much. But next drive later, fourth and five, my opponent does end up converting that for the first down. And then he's going to go to the run game. And that's the probably biggest weakness so far I have in this game is going to be the run game. I'm not the best at stopping the run. I'm definitely, you know, far none up. Uh, ball none from stopping the run. I'm really, really bad at it. So with that in mind, bringing up third down and five here, he's going to check it down, not get the first down. So again, of course, he will go for it fourth and four. And the one thing he ends up, um, as you can see, he ends up getting it. But the one thing I realized about people is whenever it's like third and five, whatever third down it is, they end up going, you know, they end up going for fourth down, of course. But they go no huddle when they go for fourth down. I don't know why people always do that, it seems like. But whenever it's like fourth down, about to be fourth down, they always make sure they go ahead and go for it. Um, so they always make sure they go no huddle before they go for it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I always like to huddle up, call a certain play, and then I'll go ahead and go for it. Because I like to call a certain play if I'm going for it in fourth and five. You know, my third and five play is not my fourth and five play. I guess a lot to a lot of people it is, but that's just not me, obviously. Right here, though, he ends up converting it on fourth and 11. I have no idea how he converted that. I thought that easily should have been intercepted, but obviously it was not. Second and goal here, and he's not going to uh, pick up any yards. Ends up losing six yards there. Third and goal almost picked off. He ends up settling for the field goal. So now the score is seven to three. So, you know, kind of in a good situation. At the same time, you know, one mistake and this ball game could change around very, very quickly. So I have to keep that in mind and make sure I do not make any mistakes here. And right here, I threw a risky pass to Macklin. With how the players jumped the ball this year, that could have easily been intercepted. But this ends up getting intercepted because of the fact the Tyrod threw a crappy pass. Now, with that in mind, guys, switching to the third quarter, still up by four points, you know, definitely in a rather good situation. My opponent uh, throws the ball away there, and then he's going to run to the left-hand side, get some very, very nice blocking, and fumbles the ball. Sadly, it was out of bounds there, but third down and two here, and somehow he's... Oh, sorry, he ends up dropping that. I thought he almost caught that for one second, but... Fourth and two here. He looks like he's going to run the ball, and he actually ends up uh, doing it. And he picks up the first down, now making it at the 50-yard line. First down and 10. Right there, another drop. And that's, again, you know, very realistic for the fact that he's going to hit that hard, and then he drops the ball. Right here, he throws, away, uh, throws the pass away. Bringing up third down and 10 here. He's just going to run the ball, which I'm not going to lie, caught me completely off guard. I did not expect him to run the ball there. But fourth and five, he converts another first down. He's going to run a screen pass. Luckily, we're able to sniff those out because, as I said in the previous video, guys, screen passes this year are very, very OP. But second down and eight here, he's going to convert it uh, all the way down to the four-yard line, bringing up first and goal. He's going to run to the right-hand side and end up getting in the end zone. And just like that, I am down uh, seven to ten. So, you know, I'm in a bad situation. Again, I talked about if we have to get the offense moving. And as you see, I am running a lot of my uh, halfback wheel because that is a play that I do love. And I found out what formation is in or what uh, playbook. 
If you guys want to see how to run Halfback Wheel, go check out my uh, offensive video on how to run an offense in Madden 18. But right there, we somehow, we throw a pick. We almost get a pick right back, but somehow he does not pick that off. But this does bring up fourth down and two here. He ends up going for it yet again, and this time he's not going to pick it up. So we get the ball back right at the 42-yard line. You know, not much to struggle with for the... For the, for the fact that we have to just get in the end zone here. So right here, we give it to Beast Mode. And Beast Mode is gone just like that. Get this man a new contract. We win the ball game. Obviously, my opponent, you know, does go three and out the next drive later. And then we give it right back to the Beast. So my opponent ends up quitting. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, opponent. Let's get on to the next video. Peace out.